Jeugd. Juventude. Javanan. Joventu. Chingin. Jugend. Kodom. Dawar. Javan. Genes. Juventud. Ustie. Umdumar. I think my dream is that the uh, lab we are trying to set up here, and clearly this is an experiment uh, with generous um, funding from the McCormick Foundation, uh, we see it as a prototype. And the dream would be that other, other places, other universities, but also schools, uh, would um, uh, you know, create similar experiments, would establish their own labs. I think it's crucial to study youth because youth obviously are the future of our society and I think it's a fun and dynamic topic today when it relates to information in particular because I think social norms are changing so quickly, user practices are changing so quickly and I think they're actually having a huge impact on how technology is developed and the kinds of services and products that are developed and I also think that there are enormous implications for institutions that I care a lot about, like educational institutions. So understanding how young people are getting access to information, thinking about it, analyzing it, that has a lot to do with how we think about teaching and how we, in fact, as teachers, learn about uh, the learning practices of our students. And the basic idea is the following. Uh, John Paul, in particular, uh, and I, we have, we have done a lot of research um, on, on youth and media, uh, but, but we never, when it came to policy making, we never necessarily uh, involved youth. Uh, so the Youth and Media Lab actually tries to um, expand our work in, in this particular direction by creating some sort of an R&D lab uh, that brings together both researchers and, and members of our community with young people. Before youth can bring change using media, they need to learn how to search and to evaluate information through it. And I think that um, in order to make the kinds of decisions necessary and to have the foundation to take action later on, they need to have the information first. And if that information is going to be coming through online sources, then we need to make sure they know how to use those sources properly. So this summer I'm helping work on curriculum to bring the literature view and its contents back into the community. The internet is still very young. It's still a teenager. Yeah. I mean, the internet, the popular internet, has not yet turned 20, right? And so, um, growing with the internet, understanding how it evolves through adolescence into adulthood is very important. And so I think as a society, we're going to have to decide sort of what do we value in education. Um, certainly skills are important, but also thinking about creativity and innovation, how do we, how do we foster those. Um, so I hope the classroom in the future looks like a place where um, everyone is a teacher and a learner. It's a lot of youth who are willing to push these buttons and test stuff out, and so that's really exciting. Youth and students are learning and growing with this in ways that stodgy older folks, um, of which we don't have many at Berkman, but that, you know, people who are adaptable and who are eager to jump in, who try things and fail and succeed. I first of all hope that the hard work that we have been doing here at the lab will be kind of a proof of concept, that, so that bringing together young people together with researchers and developers that this will lead to better outcomes and um, yeah, lead also to more interesting research questions for the future and in a more like long term I hope that the lab will inspire other researchers and other countries hopefully to create similar labs.